Hi, this is Randy. I pity men because their penis gets in the way of their life in such a big way. Kind of like this roof. This roof blocks the view of the entire neighborhood because of my perspective. And because of the testosterone in men, especially, well, only if their parts are still fully functional, if you know what I mean. When their parts are still fully functioning, everything is filtered through the penis and it does not filter through a logical brain which is really super unfortunate. I mean, it's good for the continuing, you know, um, species. But, you know, I don't think we really necessarily need to worry about that anymore. But yet, uh, men's bodies have not changed and they have decided um, to continue or unconsciously continue to filter everything through the penis. Here's an example of uh, talking to a guy on Plenty of Fish, really cute, um, and he was really smart. We had some intelligent banter going back and forth, um, and then he finally asks me what kind of man I like, and, you know, stupid question, but I just, I said a couple words, and, um, then he admitted to me that he has bad behavior. So I asked him, what, are you married? Are you living with someone? And he's like, no, why? You know, like he's shocked. And I was like, well, just trying to figure out your bad behavior. What is it, sex, sexual deviance, addictions? And um, he says, well, I do love sex. Okay, what's new? Again, who doesn't with the right person, right? So I... I qualify it yeah sex but with the right person so to me that means you're in a relationship and you know these guys say they want a relationship just like this guy said he wants a relationship but they really mean they want sex without a relationship um they have decided that the word relationship means sex because they're so deluded and they're so overwhelmed by their sexual desires and possessions that the word relationship to them has now become another meaning for sex. Uh, so you really have to get down to the details to see if it is really what they want. Uh, other than sex, they'd prefer a relationship with sex that comes with it, correct? So sex comes with a relationship it is not the relationship. I told this guy that, and he said he understands. But he was going to move on because what it is, is that he wants is sex without a relationship. So you can have sex without a relationship or sex with a relationship. Um, each time somebody says they want a relationship, this should be clarified. Did you mean you wanted sex? or you wanted a relationship that includes sex uh, because pretty much most romantic relationships and partnerships with members of the opposite sex do include sex. So that's a given. Um, so to say, I just, I want sex, uh, yeah, so do I, but it doesn't mean I'm going to just um, randomly have sex with people that I don't have a relationship with so that's the kicker there but men are I guess fine you know obviously they're fine with doing that and a lot of women are too uh, I don't know it, I wouldn't say they're fine with it they do it I have no clue what's going on in their minds um, they're they're probably you know they're damaged they've got something wrong with them but you know you can never convince anybody of that right because you know yeah women have some hormones too but 
it's not the same thing. Everything is not totally run through that filter. And if it is, there's something wrong with that woman. Whereas a man, it is run through that filter, whether there's anything wrong with them or not. It works like that. It's really unfortunate for them. So let's see. My point is that um, when men, when men's parts still fully function, it means their brain is not functioning. This, what they do, what they do is they um, pretend that they want a relationship with sex because they know that that's what a woman wants and they will go through the motions they will put in their time they will pay their dues and it's really for that you know background goal of you know sticking it in uh, often and regularly but, you know, do you really want a guy to be paying dues? Do you want a guy who hangs out with you because he's just biding his time paying his dues so that he can eventually stick it in? It's so sad, isn't it? Isn't it sad that this sticking it in is so important that, I mean, these guys not just these guys, most guys, almost all guys, they'll rearrange their whole entire day, life, uh, situation. Um, they'll change their morals if they had any to begin with. They'll, they'll switch everything up so that they can get, they can stick it in. <laughs> it's so silly. It's so silly. Because what they don't know is they don't have to change anything about themselves. They can develop a relationship with somebody and then they can get what they want and so much more, so much more if they go about it the right way. They don't compromise themselves. They don't switch around things. They don't allow the penis to do all the thinking for them and it seems like some men may have a little bit more control over their penis than others but I do have to wonder you know those that do have control over their penis is is it really because it's not functioning that well is that how they were able to get control over it because it doesn't really work that well anymore you know they're becoming more like a woman because, you know, their testosterone is lowering, they're getting older, and, you know, now they just want companionship. You know, of course, they still want sex, but now they want companionship. Is it just because they're older? Because that's, that sucks, too. That really sucks. And I feel sorry that I have a son now. My son, you know, I don't know his personal business in that way, and I don't want to. He really does enjoy spending time with his buddies. He enjoys spending time with girls and, uh, you know, groups of people uh, doing a lot of fun things. And um, he just came back from a two-week vacation with his girlfriend so he's wanted a steady girlfriend he's got one now it's he's been with her for a year um he doesn't seem ruled by it but you know i don't know i don't know maybe he is this is a nice girl and they seem to have a really good relationship and the benefit that he gets from the relationship and developing this relationship, you know, I'm sure he gets some really great benefits. But in the back of his mind, I'm sure he's got kids and, and marriage on his mind. And uh, so he's going to go the traditional route, I'm pretty sure. And, and 
ask her to marry him, you know, within the next couple years. And, and that's going to make me very happy because he's following that kind of traditional life that I think can be wonderful with the right person. And it's ideal. Uh, of course, with the wrong person, it's not. But, you know, people should wait, I guess. They are waiting longer to get married for the first time, but that still doesn't mean they're not going to get divorced and get married a second time later on because, uh, but, you know, it's a crapshoot. Those marriages, those first marriages that do last and and, and do, um, you know, run the test of time are a very low percentage, but um, it can be done can be done and I wish that you know I wish that for myself it didn't work I wish that for my son and I wish that for for all of you and just because there's so many bad statistics out there that says it, it hasn't worked or it doesn't work it does not mean it cannot work it can um, but the the men's attitude while their parts are still fully functioning needs to change and understand that the penis is not everything. The penis is not everything. I mean, I, maybe they should go around and have it numbed up, numb it up so that, you know, they can funnel information through the correct brain, you know, and make some decisions that, that make sense more in the long term. Um, really, there's so much like animals um, and, and they want to say that women are too, we're animals. They like to put us in that same category because, of course, they'd love to think that um, we think with our, you know, clitorises, you know, just like they do. <laughs> they would like to think that, you know, we think with our vaginas and they think with their penises. Okay, so a bunch of penises and vaginas walking around, you know, uh, with these base lower root chakra instincts of procreating and making sure that you know there's enough babies to for humans to survive I mean we don't need that shit anymore we're supposed to have been evolved past that but somehow you know this testosterone for men just prevents that evolution from happening and I'm not saying men can't you know aren't smart and they can't think they are they're very talented they have a lot of great qualities but when you're going to funnel everything through the penis and and get distracted uh, from rationality um, what good are you really to any woman if you can't overcome the power of your penis and and use logic and um, rational thinking, thinking that's, that involves planning for the future, even if it's for the next day, but removal of that impulsivity, the thing that, that uh, influences so many of your decisions should not be influencing so many of your decisions. This is a curse that you men have, and I pray that someday, you know, men learn to overcome this, or maybe there can be, you know, some drug to numb it up, so, you know, you can actually think at some points in time. Um, thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.